Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, it's Sunday and what a Sunday, full of games for the Juventini, yes I said full of games because it's not only the first team that is playing, Nicolo Fagioli on the cover with Sassuolo Juve in the Mape Stadium, a game that we have to win even if Max Allegri is thinking about a lot of turnover, two players that we have to observe, one from Juve, one from Sassuolo, attention we will speak about them in detail in a second, but it's also important for the next gen, also a player there, Kenan Yildiz, that has been called up to play with the next gen, two games in the regular season, we have to win both of them, to hope to qualify to the playoff, what does that mean? You qualify to the playoff, you have more games to continue, otherwise the season is over, and if we want to see and continue to see Kenan Yildiz with the next gen team, well, we have to win them, and it starts today, also for our women team that today will play versus Fiorentina, the score of yesterday between Roma and Inter was total big crazy because Rama beat Inter 6-1 so today if you still want to hope in something bigger than the second spot well you have to win against Fiorentina anyway today is the last day before a week of controversy a week of controversy that will start immediately on Monday with a documentary report on Rai that will speak about Calciopoli we know about Calciopoli, we spoke so many times about Calciopoli, events that happened in 2006, my heart is still broken about all these kind of things, I'm a Juventino, I didn't accept what happened in 2006 because I was already quite big, so I was able to try to make some researches and something fishy happened there in that time, I made a video about it or at least I dubbed a French video about it about my friend Calo Zorro that you can find on the channel, well they will speak about a new documentary with apparently new leaked phone calls between Moratti and the referees, between a lot of fishy things that happened at the time, I'm really curious to see what they will say today, tomorrow even if I will not be surprised, there is only one thing that I would recommend Luciano Moggi and Report to change is probably the cover with Luciano Moggi with a cigar. Look guys, if you are a neutral or if you are an anti-Juventino, if you don't know about Luciano Moggi etc etc, if you watch that picture, maybe it's not the best picture to put on the front to say I am not guilty, I did nothing wrong, because that picture anyway. It is what it is, if you want to be informed before we know what happened yesterday, go back on that video Calciopoli for dummies and you will learn a lot of things guys. Today is also the birthday of Igor Tudor, 45 years for the ex-Juve player, ex-assistant of Andrea Pirlo two seasons ago at Juventus, he's now at Marseille and they have the opportunity to go over loss after loss, losing yesterday against Paris Saint-Germain. Also their Ligue 1 is over, Paris Saint-Germain with Mbappé, Messi will win that title, but then, anyway, he can arrive second and qualify to Champions League important. Let's go back to Bianconeri, to our Bianconeri, yesterday when we spoke about the post press conference of Max Allegri, I told you that I was feeling, I was smelling Barbieri, Tommaso to be called up. Well, a few hours later, when the squad list went out, we saw the name of Barbieri. Not that I knew anything, but if you are thinking a bit logically, you could have guessed it. Well, Barbieri is there. I tell you immediately, I saw the last games of Barbieri after his injury, because he had a small injury where he disappeared for a few weeks. I didn't see a full form Barbieri, but anyway, apparently he is maybe even ready to start the game today, that's what we see in Tutto Sport, Barbieri ci spera, Barbieri is hoping for it, Barbieri 20 years old, he will become 21 in a few weeks, in a few months, well Barbieri, he came from Novara three seasons ago, he's already a veteran from our next gen, next gen team, three seasons with Juventus, where he did some beautiful things, he's playing on the right side, that's the side that he prefers, if in problem of the team or emergency he can also play on the left, he's a player that can play in a four-man defense as a right back, eventually as a left back, or in a three-man defense, but there maybe totally on the right or totally on the left in that 3-5-2 like Quadrado is playing now at the moment. Well, he could be potentially the player that will replace Quadrado today because we don't have to forget that not only off the field it will be an important week with the report, reportage, documentary, but also on the 19th, knowing if Juventus will receive their opponents back or not, but on the 20th, the day after, there is sporting and that's where we need all our players at disposal. When we will show you the lineups of 
today, the possible lineups, you will understand how much we care about that Europa League game. That doesn't mean that today we can just go and walk in Sassuolo. That is a really difficult stadium, a really hard team to play against. Especially when they are playing against big teams, they are always eager to go for some results. Well, Barbieri, a player not only that impressed when he was at Juve, but even before at Novara. I remember that we organized a friendly between Novara and Juve back then, where he really impressed and then we took him for 1.7 million three seasons at Juve with next gen and today he has the opportunity after these two minutes with Paris Saint-Germain after the friendlies versus Chivas in the summer the friendly versus Arsenal in December you all remember to make his official debut in Serie A maybe even from the start I'm really curious and I really want to see the guy it's not the only one that we have to observe today because in the opposition team in Sassuolo there is Fratesi Fratesi that we are already speaking since a few times on the channel like one of the possible targets of you not only Juve is on him, there are teams like Roma and even Premier League, but Fratesi is a player that is in the target of Juve. Not only Juve is observing him, but he has always been sponsored by another midfielder, ex-glory of Juve, Claudio Marchisio. C'è Fratesi per Max, there is Fratesi for Max. Yesterday, in press conference, Max Allegri received a question about Fratesi. He didn't really answer about Mercato, but he said, I remember the kid, because when he was playing in Serie B, I said to Galliani, one of the owners of Monza, he said... Who is that young guy? He has a lot of qualities, remembering maybe that he also has an eye for future talents, as he did with Fagioli and so on. Well, today, Carnevali, the sporting director of Sassuolo, spoke in Gazzetta dello Sport, saying, yes, Fratesi is a potential Juve caliber. He didn't mean he will go to Juve. He admit also that there is interest for Fratesi from Juve. It's not the first season. We all remember the negotiation, the deals, the meetings between Juventus, Cherubini and Carnevali for Locatelli, well, he also started like that. There is an interest from Juve, it is public, everyone knows, we will try to deal, but of course it's not only Juve, there are some Premier League teams that are interested also on him. There is Rama, and speaking about Premier League teams, well, Traoré went to a Premier League team. There are Scamacca from Sassuolo went to Premier League, League teams. So that's why Juventus is obliged to anticipate. Fratesi, we will try to check him. We will try to watch him. Hopefully, he will not do that great today. But it's a player that could potentially replace Adrien Rabiot. That more and more, it's more difficult to have a new deal with him, especially if we will not qualify to Champions League. So let's see what will happen there. What are the lineups? Well, I will tell you. In Tuto Sport, they are going with a 10 on 11, the same lineup as Gazzetta dello Sport. Perin into the goal, already said yesterday by Max Allegri, with Gatti, Bremer, Danilo, we continue with the same defense. Not Bonucci, not Rugani. In the middle, well, Barbieri, that big newness, another young next-gen player that will make his official debut in Serie A with Kostic on the left. Unfortunately, Kostic difficult for him to rest, even if we are playing versus Sporting. I would not be surprised to see Eating Jr. in the second half, especially if the result is going towards a beautiful win for Juve. In the middle, Fagioli, Rabiot, and here we see a resting turn for Locatelli because Paredes could potentially start the game. Barenecea is not with the team, he's with the uh, next-gen team. Up front, Sule behind Vlaovic. Gazzetta is going with exactly the same except of Milik behind Dusan Vlaovic. In Gazzetta dello Sport double page you see Juve. We have a problem in attack. We have a problem to score goals and that's where Allegri is thinking to put a big player like Milik to make it easier for Dusan Vlaovic to score some goals. Well, Dusan Vlaovic with Milik or Dusan Vlaovic with Sule, Max is thinking about it. How is it more easy for Dusan Vlaovic to score goals because he needs to come back on the score sheet and we need to go and win today. Let me know in the comments what you think about the best lineup for today. Is that the one that you appreciate? Would you go total full power with the players that we have? Quadrado, Locatelli, etc, etc, Di Maria, Federico Chiesa, I'm curious. How and what do we have to pay attention to to Sassuolo? Well, the building from the back. It's a team that is really building from the back. And on top of that, they have a goalkeeper that is really able to play with his feet. He's the extra man there to make some superiority. And he has the choice or to play really fast from the back or he's going with a long ball because, you know, it. when teams are approaching, when they are pressing, they are actually creating some space. So attention to the build from the back from Sassuolo with their goalkeeper. Also Fratesi that we already spoke 
spoke about. It's a player that knows how to enter that final third. Already scored six times this season. So a lot of teams find difficulty to man mark him and to always stay alert of not leaving him space so that he can go in the final third and score. So attention to Fratesi. Berardi will not be there, but instead we have to pay attention to the Frenchman, Armand Loriente. Loriente also him really, really great skills in terms of dribbles, short spaces dribble to unmark himself and create dangerosity in the final third with a last pass, an assist or a shot towards goal. And then there is another player, Mateus Henrique, that is a real brain in the midfield. Well, pay attention to them. They have really great, skillful, short players that can really make the difference. Finishing with the results of yesterday, Gazeta del Sport, Inter, like this, you are throwing away 60 million because they are risking to not qualify to the Champions League. So they are possibly after beating the first game Benfica in semi-final of Champions League, but they really start risking to not qualify to the next edition. So attenzione to Inter. I'm happy. I tell you the truth. I am happy. What about uh, Corriere Sport? Are they speaking about Napoli that yesterday did 0-0 versus Verona with Verona missing a fantastic, great counter-attack in the injury times would have been crazy. Well, they didn't, but apparently Napoli is not still at their level, but Osimen is back because yesterday he played, he even hit the bar at a certain moment. They are going towards the game of Champions League instead of focusing on the flops of the three teams of Italy, Inter that lost again, and to be honest, if I remember well, they didn't win in Serie A since the 5th of March. It's more than one month now. Milan, that yesterday did 1-1 versus, I don't remember which team. I watched the game, but I don't remember. And then Napoli, that yesterday was not able to beat Verona. Attenzione, this is what it is for me. I will be on the Twitch channel for an Italian watch-along and of the of course the post-game here on the channel. Maximum of like if you didn't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve.